What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Flask tutorial video. Actually, this video is going to be more server related, but if you have a Flask website or any website in general, you might find that you're going to need uh, the cron tab for whatever reason. There's plenty of reasons why you might. So first of all, what is the cron tab? So the cron tab is this place where you can set up and program scheduled tasks that you want to run at various times. These tasks can basically be anything that you would input into this line. So if you wanted, you could put, you could make a cron job that runs sudo um, or runs service Apache to restart. If you wanted, you can make a cron job that does just that. So uh, let's go ahead and, and jump in. So first, to get to your cron tab, you would do cron tab dash e for edit if it's your first time doing this it's gonna give you a list of options for what editor editor you want to use I use nano but feel free to use vim if you're one of those vim people or any of the other editors it doesn't matter to me so you hit enter I'm using nano sorry vimmers and we'll scroll down and there is some information up here as far as how it works but I'll go through it as well so basically, this is where it starts. This is all comments right here. And uh, so these are my cron jobs that I have set up on. This is on my, uh, my Flask website. So what do these mean? So the each asterisk is a different thing. So you can see up here, you've got M, H, D, O, M, M, O, N, D, O, W. So what is that? Well, this is minutes, hours, uh, day of the month and then you've got the month and then day of the week so basically the each asterisk you can think of it as minutes hours days months weeks okay so uh, for example we'll uh, leave these here but these basically these are gonna run every 15 minutes it runs these three uh, commands now uh, maybe someone a little more familiar with memory management uh, can come in and say, hey, actually, this is the only one you need to run. I've heard kind of conflicting um, information on this. I used to always just run this command alone. Uh, so sudo echo 3 and then proc says vm drop caches. And what this is doing is it is dropping your cache memory. So uh, your you, this is your RAM. And... For whatever reason, almost every website I've ever uh, operated, and even even websites I've had people create for me, memory is almost always an issue. That's why we have that garbage collection. But generally, you've got memory coming in and out constantly based on connections uh, to your database, let's say. Um, maybe you're running stuff with Python, and just in general, garbage collection isn't perfect. That's kind of why if you have... Uh, say your computer for example sometimes you'll notice even after you've closed every program you look at your RAM or your memory and you're still using memory right and then you'll do a reboot and then suddenly you're not using that memory so memory can just kind of pile up into what's known as kind of garbage right uh, or cached memory so you can use this command to clear the cache memory because your computer while you might restart your computer very often your web server almost never gets restarted uh, so you'll have you can even have actually a cron that restarts your server but generally you don't want to do that because then you're going to lose you're going to have some downtime uh, so you don't really want that so uh, I use these to kind of clear the cache memory because otherwise you'll notice that on a long term scale you'll just see your memory slowly ticking up and then finally your server will run out of memory at that point you'll either engage into using swap memory which is basically using your hard drive as random access memory which is very slow uh, or your server will just come to a halt. So depending on which host you use, generally DigitalOcean, for whatever reason, whenever I use them, uh, if you run out of memory, DigitalOcean just shuts down, it doesn't reboot, uh, and you find out the next morning that your website's been offline for five hours. That sucks. So uh, watch out. Uh, Linode has an operation called Lassie, and it just automatically will reboot your server. I believe DigitalOcean has something like that, just doesn't work. Uh, at least at the time of me making this video. Sorry, DigitalOcean, but I'm just being honest. So, <laughs> anyway, you'll definitely want to have this. Now, I still use DigitalOcean for servers uh, and for websites even. It just, um, you just want to be careful with your memory. So anyways, these run every 15 minutes. This, uh, and then I have here, 
these also run every 15 minutes just another version of every 15 minutes basically and what this one does is uh, this is going to run this the following um, Python file and actually I probably should cut this one off uh, I would slow this one down although this is just the development server anyway so I guess it doesn't matter but this runs user tracking so what this is tracking is I can even bring up the file this just tracks uh, this and what this is is a file that just connects to the database and it saves information on my users since I don't actually have a date that the user signed up silly me I should have done that but I don't um, I track users this way and it's just a way for me to track uh, let's see if I can open up here's one uh, here it's a way for me to say okay here's the date and then I have total users total completed tutorials and then average completed tutorials and that's by user so as you can see luckily for me as time has gone on uh, well for the most part it goes up as we scroll down um, now we're up about nine tutorials per user uh, basically and we started off around eight something I think and for a little bit we dropped off there and that was probably because more people were registering I don't know anyway just an interesting thing to track over time just doing it for fun mostly but it runs that you can run all kinds of stuff here it can be any script really so for example sent decks what runs here is I have the web crawler so my crawler runs on a cron a lot of analysis runs on crons grabbing a stock prices that's a cron job just anything that you want to run and as you can see actually this right here is the command you would actually enter right into the line here so same thing here you just have to keep in mind you have to give the full path you know if you're running a file or something like that make sure you give the full path otherwise it won't run but you can also always just take this just in case you want to make sure the cron will work you take that copy that control x to get out and save it if you need to but then paste it right in here and run it and as long as that runs then you know that things are good and make sure you're at in the root directory so cd and then the tilde and then that'll, that'll put you basically in your root directory so uh, anyway you can check it like that so that's the cron tab uh, if you're having trouble with the cron tab just google it so say you want to run a cron job every five minutes type into google uh, how to run a cron or let's say we want to do uh, run cron every five hours um, and the one result I get is actually every six hours but we could look at it and we can see this guy's done messed up actually <laughs> Uh, so this would this isn't even valid, but uh, anyway, <laughs> that might actually run every hour. But anyway, I'm not really sure if the slash will work without the asterisk. Uh, but then you can see here that um, oh, he's actually even got too many fields. Anyway, uh, you get your answer right. So I did every I wanted every five hours. I googled it. I got someone saying every six hours. So then I could just change this from a six to a five, right? And boom, that runs every five hours. Uh, and then there's other examples that we could run. So let me pull this back up here. Uh, so I just wrote out some examples here. We can zoom in. So this is just, you know, again, the reiteration of, of what runs. This would be every five minutes. This would be every five hours. This would be every hour at the one minute mark. And then if you wanted to run it every day at 2.45 a.m. in the morning, you would do 45, 2, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. And the reason you have the asterisk basically means every. So this would be uh, at the 45 minutes after the hour, at the two or the second hour, every uh, every day, every month, every week, right? So anyway, um, so in theory, if you wanted to run something every minute, you could probably get away with asterisk, 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 asterisk. So. Uh, that's the cron, cron tab. Uh, if you're having trouble with the cron tab or you know scheduling something or setting it up, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Once you get kind of comfortable with it, you get the hang of it pretty quickly. And you can always have like a log file or something and make sure that the, whatever you think should be running is running. So if you have questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until the next tutorial, which we'll be covering uh, probably just general SEO. I had someone ask about, you know, how do you get your website found after you create it? I thought, yeah, that might be a good kind of conclusive uh, tutorial to the series anyways. I'll probably still add stuff as time goes on, but um, that'll be a good one to close off at least initially on. So anyways, that'll be in the next tutorial, so stay tuned for that.